welcome to the children's message. We're so glad that you joined us. Before we get to our new story with all of our strong characters, we want to remember what happened in our story last week. Last week, Jesus was reminding them that when even crazy things happen, like the temple falling, that they could trust that Jesus would be there. And we can trust him that he can do new things in, in our lives too. I had a week that I had a night this week that everything went wrong and God used it to do something really great where I was able to spend extra time with my kids and I was really grateful for that. So today we have a story about Paul and Timothy to the Thessalonians and how they should remain strong. But did you remember that this week is the first weekend of Advent, which is the season where we get our hearts ready for Jesus' birthday at the end of December when we celebrate Christmas. So we're very excited. And you might have noticed something new. <gasps> What's this over here? Can you see that there are rolling hills and mountains and that there's water over here? <gasps> This is where Jesus was born. This is where he probably was born inside of a stable or some sort of outside uh, location. And we have um, some palm trees and a night sky. So over this time in Advent, we're gonna see what happens on our um, board over here. So stay tuned. All right guys, let's see who's in our story today. We have Paul and Timothy and the people of Thessalonia. So let's turn in our World Story Bible to 1 Thessalonians 3 verses, 1, verses 9 through 13 and it reads as follows. Timothy kicked the dirt from his sandals and knocked on Paul's door. Timothy, you're back, Paul exclaimed when he saw his friend. Timothy had returned from a very long trip visiting many new churches. The two men stepped inside. What is the church in Thessalonia? Um, oh, excuse me. How is the church, church in Thessal... Thess <laughs> Thessalonica? Excuse me. Paul asked. The church is growing, Timothy replied. Every day the Thessalonians tell more and more people about Jesus. Paul smiled and clapped his hands. That's good news, he said. They still have lots of questions and wonder when they'll see you again. Maybe you can write them a letter, Timothy suggested. Paul grabbed his stylus. That sounds like a great idea. Dear Thessalonians, how can we thank God enough for you? You bring Timothy and me such joy. We pray every night and day that we will see you again. It's a long trip to Thessalonica, but we hope to travel there again someday. Then we can answer your questions in person and restore your faith. Timothy tells me the church is doing well. I am so pleased. Keep telling people about Jesus. Your church will continue to grow. May God help you to love one another and all people. May your faith be strong until we meet again. Grace and peace be with you. Amen. Your friend in Christ, Paul. Okay. So Timothy had just come back and was visiting with Paul. And they were talking about the, the church in Thessalonica. And they were talking about how it was growing and growing and wonderful. And so Timothy encouraged Paul to write them a letter to help them stay strong in their faith. And so he did. He wrote them a letter and he said that he wanted to come visit them and help them. And he was so happy that they were doing so well. And in this season of Advent, we're trying to get our hearts ready to remember Jesus' birthday and remember and to think about our faith. Is our faith very strong? Is, does it need to be stronger? And are, do we need to help our relationship with Jesus to grow? 
So I hope that you can take a really quick check on your relationship with Jesus and see if it's something that you need help with. Maybe it would be helpful to read the Bible or pray to God or to ask your friend at church or the pastor to help you with your faith so that you can build your relationship with Jesus in this time of Advent. So before we end, let's put our hands together in prayer. Dear Jesus, as we're in this weekend of Thanksgiving, let us give you praise for so many wonderful things in our lives, for our children around us, for our friends and our church and all the blessings you give us. Please be with those who are less fortunate and are hurting. Please be with those people who are sad. Um, please comfort us through these times and help us to have a strong relationship with you. Thank you that we can always have a better relationship with you each day and that in this time of Advent we can build up our relationship with you so that we can have a healthy relationship and a loving relationship with you, especially when we celebrate your son Jesus Christ's birthday. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.